anybody still not understand order number 11? After what they did to our people over in Lawrence, we're not going to take any more. It ordered every person within the boundary of those counties away from their home. It wasn't just if you were a Southern sympathizer, you were thrown out. It was everyone. And those people were forced off their property, had to report to a military post. Every family within the county had to, had 10 days to sign a loyalty oath and move to the local federal headquarters or 10 days to leave the county. Jackson County and a couple of other surrounding counties like Cass and Bates were actually a war zone. It's like living in a, in a war zone. People don't understand that. You look at television and you think uh, that's happening in another country. But it really, 150 years ago, that was what was happening here. We were living in a war zone. People were, um, you know, terrified for their lives and their property. Cass County to the south of us was almost totally de depopulated from it. it uh, it's still the same story of, of people being uprooted and people being, uh, you know, thrown to the wind. But I'm hoping today that it, we put a, a face on it. You know, we, uh, we, you can read the books, you can look at uh, George Caleb Bingham's Order Number 11 or Martial Law, the painting that everyone knows, and you can see those people in there. What we're hoping here with this you know, small effort is to give that a, a face.